Good morning, Christian City Church. Uh, welcome. One of today we're going to be going over a topic that's relevant to all of us, and I think that you'll find this as enjoyable as I do and as informational as all of us should. Uh, one of the biggest questions that I get as a pastor is, "How can I know that I'm saved?" And today we're going to answer that question in five simple steps. Everybody knows that Jesus paid it all, and unto Him we owe. But following that, there's some things that we have to do to make sure that we know that we know. All of us have this question lurking in the back of our mind and some of us need to get those questions answered and today we're going to show you those five simple steps so that you can know that you know that you know that you know. Step number one, purge yourself of secular music. I don't even really understand why there's an argument here but nonetheless I'll give you some scripture. 1 Corinthians 6.20 you were bought with a price. You really don't have any claim to enjoyment anymore. Not at all. I think it's pretty obvious that any music that does not name the name of Christ in every song on their album is of the devil. All secular music was designed by, inspired by, and controlled by Satan himself. Satan was originally the worship leader of heaven. Everyone knows that all worship leaders are inherently evil. This is what inspired rock and roll music. Do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Pretty straight cut. Step number two, and this is the big one. You can't be the D word. Democrat. That's right. You have to vote and be Republican. Everyone knows that Jesus was a voting member of the Republican Party. You can trace the Republican Party straight back through Ronald Reagan into Lincoln and back to Jesus. It has inspired such shows as the Sean Hannity Show and Rush Limbaugh Program. Everyone knows that to be in the right with God, all you have to be is on the right. In other words, right is right and left is wrong. Good word. Some people in the church just don't get it. Real faith starts with an R, Republican. I believe God, and if you believe God too, you'll vote Republican. The next thing you must abstain from to be assured of salvation, tattoos. You shall not make any cuts on your body for the dead or tattoo yourselves. I am the Lord. Leviticus 19.28 Ye shall not print any marks upon you. Simple, straightforward, Settled. God said it. I believe it. That settles it. Right? Yeah, I agree 100%. Nothing spots a good heathen like a set of tattoos. No real reason to go any farther than that. Pretty straightforward. I think number four goes without saying, but as a Christian, you can never use vulgar language. Listen, sometimes when you shut your finger in the door, ouch just doesn't cut it. According to the ACVC, the American Christian Vulgarity Council, they have come up with an approved list of healthy alternatives. Words like Dagnabbit, Serenity Now, Crud, Shut the Front Door, Shoot, Make that Shoot, Enunciate Very Well, Bolshevik, Oops, Pretty close there, huh? Holy shnikes, and last but not least, oh my lanta. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. That's Ephesians 4.29. Also in the scriptures, Ephesians 5.4, let there be no filthiness or foolish talk nor crude joking, which are out of place. But instead, let there be thanksgiving. Scriptures are pretty straightforward. I think some of those are a little questionable, but if the ACVC has approved them, I really have no authority here. Well, last, but certainly not least, if you want to know for sure, without a doubt, no question, this here is the golden tuna. You can never, never,
that's it. The whole enchilada. The whole shebang. You do those five things, you're, you're in. in.